Once again, guys, coming into this game today, the big expectations. Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James. Kawhi Leonard will sit because of his ankle or his foot. Again. But you know what? It's okay. We want him healthy. We want him to go, good to go. And arguably the better team is the Utah Jazz in the back-to-back. -back. So there you go. So coming into the game, our expectations were, okay, this might be tough. LeBron James has always been good against the Raptors. Problem, we don't have any Kawhi Leonard here to play. No Kawhi Leonard, no problem for the Toronto Raptors as they win 121-107 over the LA Lakers and approved to nine and one to start their season. And guys, if I'm not mistaken, you know, the Lakers made a big run near there near the end of the game. Is it just me? Now I don't know if LeBron was hurt at all, but I didn't see him out there. The entire fourth, even when they were cutting it to 10 points with three minutes to go. The, our, the best player of our generation. And you sit him? Unless he was hurt, then if he is, then okay, fine. But I mean, other than, I don't care. What did he do? 18 points and 6 to 12 shooting on 28 minutes of work. That's not LeBron James. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if that's been what's been happening this season. I, I'm not too sure, guys. I want to hear what you guys have to say about that, about your opinion on that. But the story of the game, and then that, I just wanted to get to that real quick to kind of clarify what I felt. The Raptors come out in the first quarter and score 42 points and give up 17. The Raptors had, what is it, a 25-point lead or some crazy number? What, I can't I think the math is like 25 or something like that. Are you kidding me? That is incredible. At the end of the first quarter, Serge Ibaka, at the end of the first, was 8 of 8 from the field, had 20 points. Incredible. And Lowry's dishing out like it's like... like uh, like it's free sub day or something like that, or it's or or it's pizza pizza where the Raptors score a hundred points, just dishing out dimes all over the place. Kyle Lowry I think he had like nine or no he had was it six points, three rebounds, and like six or seven assists or maybe even nine. I'm not too sure. At the end of the first quarter, and the Raptors were up by a ton. Now, that is not going to be able to be sustained, but it's how you counteract their runs. And I got to say, I loved the way Nick Nurse coached this team in this game. Every time they threw up a 6-0 run, 8-0 run, he instantly calls a timeout, gets everyone settled down, gets them back out there. Raptors, get on a run again. That's what I noticed in the game for this Raptor club. Late in the game, right? They're making that push. They cut it to 10 or 11 points. Timeout. Bang. Get it back up to 14. I loved what I saw from Nick Nurse today. The rotations he put out there I thought was great. I don't know. I've just really liked his his job so far. He's working on his toes. He's playing it as it goes. And I love what I'm seeing from Nick Nurse here early on in the season. Uh, big problem, though. Three-point percentage today. 29% from the field. 10 for 35. Other than Lowry, Danny Green, and I want to say Serge Ibaka, but I'm not too sure. The Raptors combined for a total of 1-3. That's not very good. Now, the Raptors did shoot 50% from the field and 93% from the free throw line. And, guys, we still won by, what was it, 14 points. And we were minus, was it 15 to the free throw line. We only had 14 attempts. They had 29. And we still won by 14 without Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> what a great job by this team today. 32 assists. You out-rebounded them by 11. On the offensive glass, Raptors were plus 7. 13-6. But you know what that's credits to? Abaka and Pascal Siakam. I was watching those two guys today, and they were grinding. And you can throw JV into the mix. I that he was all right rebounding the basketball on the offensive end. I'm not, I wasn't too sure about what I was getting from him in this game. But rebounding, he was good. Uh, eight steals to their five, four blocks to their five, only 11 turnovers for the Raptors. Uh, I, I don't know. I was just, and I was just really impressed with this team today. 
being able to go out in L.A., taking on the Lakers, LeBron James and the Lakers, without Kawhi Leonard, you, I mean, and you go out there and show them the first quarter, oh, we're ready to play, we're better to beat you down. Now, second quarter doesn't go that great, though, 32-29 in favor of the Lakers. Third quarter, 31-30 in favor of the Lakers, but you're not letting them get those giant runs. And even though you're minus three in those second and third quarters, you had that gigantic run to start the game. It doesn't feel like you really lost much. Now, they make a big run there, like I said, late in the game. They get down to 12, 10, something like that, but it doesn't get any lower than that. You don't really, I don't think once you saw it in single digits there late in the game. And if you did, it wasn't for, it wasn't for long. Uh, the Raptors were down uh, minus seven in the fourth quarter, but you just built that big enough lead. You were able to hang on to it. Now let's run into some guys here real quick here. Pascal Siakam, 16 points, 13 rebounds on eight of 14 shooting. And guys, he was guarding LeBron James. He was a plus 25 on the floor. LeBron James, guys, like we said, 18 points, six, re uh, six assists, minus 16 while he was out there. Uh, on the floor, guys. Uh, OG Ananobi had a rough night here. Seven points on three of nine shooting. Uh, had a tough time. One of five from three. Abaka, 34 points, 10 rebounds. Incredible. 15 of 17 shooting? That is what? Hold on. 88% from the field. He also had two assists. Uh, he was one of one from three. Only took the one three. That's what I like to see. Uh, one steal in the, or where is he here? Two steals, no blocks for Surge. I mean, I was so impressed with this game today. Kyle Lowry, guys, I mean, he's like, I'm not even going to say he's been a dog because we all know that. 21 points, six rebounds, 15 assists, eight of 19 shooting. And of course, last shot of the game for the Raptors, the left-handed shot by Kyle Lowry. You see him looking at his hand. Yeah, you see him showing everybody, yeah, I fired that up with my left. Uh, great job by Kyle. 8 of 19 shooting. It's not very great, but 3 of 7 from 3 is all right. Two steals and a block and took, what, at least two or three charges in the game today. Uh, plus 26. Well, he was on. Guys, the starting unit. Plus 25 for Siakam. Plus 19 for OG Ananobi. Plus 32 for Serge Ibaka. Plus 26 for Kyle Lowry. Plus 22 for Danny Green. And Danny Green had 15 points of his own, and no one's talking about him. I thought he was pretty good. 5 of 8 from the field. 5 of 8 from 3. He had two blocks. Again, no one's talking about him, but he's going out there and doing a job. I love what I saw from Danny out there today. DeLon Wright had 11 points on 5 of 8 shooting. JV, 14 points, 8 rebounds, and an assist on 5 of 9 shooting in 17 minutes of work. That's pretty good, I gotta say. I, I wasn't expecting too much out of him there, but a defensive end, I wasn't too happy with JV. Minus 16. Uh, he had a rough night there on the, on the floor. But that's okay. You know what? That's going to happen once in a while to JV. But uh, overall... He wasn't too bad on the offensive, and that's really what got this team ahead, square 120 something points, 121, uh, and beating them 121, 107. Big play in the game, guys. Pascal Siakam. You guys didn't see that throwdown? Oh, go take a look. Drives down, and LeBron in initially thinks I'm gonna try and step into this. But I don't know if he sees Siakam just eyes open and in the air ready to throw this puppy down. And LeBron's like, yeah, no, I don't want a part of that. And, he, and Siakam just lays into the rim, guys, slamming it home. He's fired up. The bench is fired up. I'm off my seat. And he, what an incredible job by these guys today. You go into L.A., all the hype for Kawhi Leonard, you don't get him. You don't see our best player out there in the game, and you're facing LeBron. Not going to be not going to be an easy task for this team. But they go out there, and they show us early on we're here to ball, and they weren't. Defensively, this team was on fire in that first quarter, and defense leads to offense. That's what this team is so good at, and it happened there in the first quarter. I was I'm so proud of this team today, guys. Nine and one on the year so far, but that means squat. When it comes to playoff time. But you got to enjoy it for what it is. Now, the Raptors, they have a back-to-back, -back, guys. They play tomorrow night against Utah in Utah. Positive news, though. La uh, Abaka doesn't pl go plus 30. OG didn't go plus 30. Siakam and Lowry played, what? Well, Siakam played 35, Lowry 33. Danny Green only played 26. And, guys, no Kawhi Leonard. So, he, I'm hoping, I'm assuming, he'll be going tomorrow night against Utah in Utah. And I think Donovan Mitchell, I think I heard today, that is not going to be playing. So if we get Kawhi back and Mitchell is not playing, 
Might be quite an interesting uh, affair there, guys, uh, for the Raptors and, and Utah Jazz in that game. Um, but do you look to sit Kawhi if, if Donovan Mitchell's not playing? I don't know. Uh, it's a very weird scenario for this team. You want to get Kawhi out there, and you want him to play. It's going to be quite an interesting game there tomorrow, guys. Uh, game three of the road trip. The Raptors, at the very least, are guaranteed a 500 road trip. They've already won the first two of the games in Phoenix and now in L.A. They head to Utah tomorrow, and then they take on the Sacramento Kings in Sacramento before they come home to take on the New York Knicks on Saturday, November 10th. So, guys, two more road games. Sacramento has shown some really, really good things this year. Utah, very good team last year. Struggles, has struggled early on this season. But um, I'm actually going to find out here right here the status of Donovan Mitchell here, guys, so we can get a gist of this. Um, so just so you guys know what's going on with him. Donovan Mitchell will not play Monday versus Raptors with ankle sprain. There you go. No Donovan Mitchell for them. Uh, any other key injuries? Alec Burks, Nieto, no, not Nato, no, nothing, nothing crazy. So, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. You guys enjoy this video, and you guys enjoyed today's ball game. Yeah, well, hey, you can take that wherever you want. Baseball fans, you can take that wherever you want. But it's a basketball game. Raptors get the dub, 121-107. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed this one. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below. What'd you guys think of the game today? Who's your MVP? Would you give it to Lowry? Would you give it to Siakam? Would you give it to Serge Ibaka, who had a freakish first quarter? You guys go ahead and pick. And if you guys want to throw, a, you know, somebody surprising out there, Danny Green had 15. Hey, guys, it's all up to you. Who's your player of the game in this one? Let me know in the comments below, guys. And Evan and I will talk to you guys sometime this week, Podcast Edition. It'll be a later upload, guys, uh, for the podcast at some point this week. I apologize in advance for all the confusion as of late for the podcast. Um, like I said, the link is in the description for the podcast channel and for the podcast itself on iTunes, guys. Twitter is also down below. Follow up, send me a DM, do all that great stuff. And I will talk to you guys, Leafs edition. Uh, I think it's Thursday, isn't it? Wednesday or Thursday for the Leafs. I see I've been totally thinking Raptors here tonight. They play Tuesday even <laughs> against the Vegas Golden Knights as they come home. Looking to carry that momentum from the Pittsburgh game and give, bring it into their own building, which really hasn't happened this year. they got to find some way to get some good stuff on uh, on home ice. They take on Vegas on Tuesday night, 7 o'clock puck drop at Scotiabank Arena. And as for the Raptors, like we've been saying, they play the Utah Jazz tomorrow night, 9 o'clock tip-off uh, in Utah as the Raptors look for their um, fourth straight victory and third straight win on the road. And to keep this road trip rolling nice, it's not an easy trip. They've started off nice. Got to keep it going, though, tomorrow against Utah. Hopefully Kawhi Leonard is back in the lineup tomorrow. We're going to have to wait and see, though, and we'll talk to you guys then.